In the comments of one of my previous videos, I was asked to elaborate on Gentoo's use expand variables, as well as on other use-like variables such as language targets. In this video, I'm going to attempt to give a brief overview and explanation of these topics. To begin with a definition, use expand refers to a list of variables that can be set independently, but that in practice are expanded, that is, added to your list of total use flags on your system. You may already know that you can get a good look at all of the use flags on your system by running the command emerge dash dash info and popping that to grip for the word use with an equal sign at the beginning of a line. This gives you a pretty good overview of all of the use flags on your system. The ones that are in your regular use variable are going to be the ones that are just right here from the opening quotes to the closing quotes. All of these other variables that are displayed here are going to be your use expand variables, such as ABI, x86, ALSA cards, language targets down here, such as PHP targets. What these are are additional use variables that are added based on other settings elsewhere on your system. Most of these use expand variables are frequently used for something else in addition to being used as use flags. For instance, the video cards variable here can be used to define the kernel drivers that you're going to use for your video cards. However, if you define the video cards variable this way in your make.conf file, it will also add an associated use flag to your total list of use flags. This is what is meant by an expanded use flag. The setting is for something that is not directly related to the use variable, but because the setting is itself enabled, then an associated use variable is added to the total list of use flags. All use expand flags are like this. They are contextually different from regular use flags because they don't just represent the concepts that regular use flags do, but also some additional information. Nonetheless, they still are expanded into use flags as well, meaning that setting one of the use expand flags is equivalent to setting any other use flag as far as installing packages is concerned. You set your own use expand variables in the etsy portage directory in your make.conf file. Certain variables that you set in this file will be expanded into use flags, such as input devices here, or video cards here. If you want to enable or disable use expand flags yourself, you'll do them in this file. However, use expand variables are defined in terms of what they actually do in a different file. That particular file is located in the user portage profiles base directory and is called make.defaults. This is a very large file that contains the profile defaults for portage. All of the use expand flags are defined here. There are lots of comments here that give extra information about the settings and flags that are located here. And you can use those comments and the contextual information that the flags themselves have to figure out what the flags actually mean and are for. Of particular note to us is the actual use expand variable located here near the beginning of the file. This variable is a space delimited list of environment variable names. Every one of the environment variables listed here will be used to augment the total list of use flags. This is a complete list of all the variables that will be extended into use flags. For instance, you can see listed here in the total list of use expand flags the environment variables elibc and kernel. Now if we actually go down in the document here, we can see that elibc and kernel are both default environment variables that are set elsewhere here in this file. These are settings that will affect other things on your system, but they are expanded also into use flags thanks to their inclusion in the use expand variable. Both glibc and Linux have an associated use flag that is applied when needed and that is activated, that is enabled like any other use flag, by its inclusion in use expand. Another good example of this sort of expandable variable are the language targets, such as Ruby targets here. These are also variables that are defined elsewhere in this file and consist of a list of default versions of the Ruby language in this case that are installed on the system. Speaking about language targets actually affords me a good transition into my next subject, the language target variables themselves on Gentoo. Now a language target is a setting that describes what particular versions of certain languages, usually scripting languages like Ruby and Python, 
your packages should be built to support and that are installed on your system. If we once again run emerge dash dash info and grep for use equals, we can see that there are several environment variables in our use expand variables that are called targets, such as Ruby 24 for Ruby targets, PHP 7 2 for PHP targets, and both Python 2.7 and Python 3.6 for Python targets. These language targets are use expand variables like all the others, meaning that each one of the settings in each of these environment variables is expanded out into a use flag in practice. However, it's important to note that language targets on Gen2 are kind of like mini profiles in and of themselves. Portage is set at any given time to use certain versions of these languages for the packages that it installs, and you can actually change which versions that you want your packages to be installed to support. To demonstrate, we can actually use the eSelect tool to view and edit our associated language targets. For instance, if we run eSelect Python show, we can see that the current version of Python that we are compiling packages to support is Python 3.6. Now that makes sense because Python 3.6 is among our Python targets and it is the setting for Python single target. That means that it is one of the two versions of Python that is installed here on this system, but it is the one that we have specifically selected to compile packages for in the Python single target variable. Using eSelect, we can also get a list of all of the Python versions that are installed on the system by running eSelect Python list. We can do the same thing with other variables, such as eSelect Ruby list which will show that we have only one version of Ruby, Ruby 24. We can also use eSelect to actually set which version of these programming languages we want to compile our packages for. By running sudo, to give it root permissions, eSelect, and then the name of the language that we want to change, for instance, Python, and then set, followed by the number of the language profile that we want to use. By number, I mean the number that eSelect itself assigns the versions of these languages in its list output. For instance, for Python, we have Python 3.6, which is number 1, and Python 2.7, which is number 2. So if we say sudo eSelect Python set 2, and then run eSelect Python show once again, you'll see that we are now running Python 2.7 we have changed Python language targets, meaning that from now on, any packages that we install that have Python support will have a use expand flag enabled that will cause them to compile for Python 2.7, rather than Python 3.6, which we were using before. And that about does it for this video on use expand variables and language targets. Hopefully this was pretty informative. I'd like to thank Marcin Oleksiak, hopefully I pronounced that right, who made the original comment on my use flag video asking me to make a video on this subject. Uh, thank you all for watching. Hopefully this was helpful to you, and we'll see you next time.